International Hill Climb today at Pikes Peak is the first event that an electric vehicle has beaten the best gas bikes on an equal playing field. It's never happened before. It's a historic day. This is the culmination of a big goal that we set for ourselves four years ago to qualify first and win a major motorsports event that gets gas-powered motorcycles. SMA has worked with us to help complete our solar charging for our motorcycles so that we could run the bikes of the energy that, that lands on the roof of the Sprinter. The Sprinter van has two sunny islands which allows us to charge our bikes very, very rapidly and in uh, well under an hour. Well, I think it's a huge step forward, the electric bike winning here. A month ago, if you'd have told me that could have happened, I wouldn't have believed it. I really didn't. You know, I mean, I didn't think the technology was here. And I'm, I know the rest of this crowd's real shocked. So I heard the Red Bull announcers, like, just scrambling to figure it out. I mean, Carlin's a champion, but the electric bike is an amazing, it's the future, to be honest. It has to be. Today, the Lightning team at the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb won the event. We raced against all the top gas competitors here, not just other electrics, and we were 20 seconds faster than the second place gas bike. And to us, it's a, it's a small step for a lightning motorcycle in a racing event, but it's a huge leap, we think, for transportation. We hear all the time that someday electric vehicles will work, someday you can fuel them from solar energy, but today we proved you know, to, to anyone that's paying attention that riding an electric motorcycle and using solar energy is not something that will happen someday. It's something that happens today. And not only does it happen today, it can, it can exceed the performance of the best gas-powered bikes in the world. The result that we achieved today is the result of all of the people that have been involved with Lightning.